In this video, I'm going to do a complete tutorial install of Kodi version 19.4. So let's click right into it next. Hello and welcome back everybody. So that's right. Once in a blue, I like to uh, upgrade the Kodi install. So I'm going to make a new video on how to install Kodi version 19.4. However, if nothing changes, this video should work from 19.4 into future Kodi installs. Okay, so keep that in mind when watching this video. You can always come back. So here's the first thing. Uh, tonight I'm using the Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max, okay? Now this should work on all Android devices, especially Fire TV device. If you're having any issues or problems, either leave a comment or check the video links in the description and contact me and I'll try to help you out the best I can. So with that said, let's get right into it. So the first thing you have to do is scroll over to settings. When settings comes up, scroll down and go down to My Fire TV and click it. Now, if you see right here, it says developer options, okay? If I click on about, where it's highlighted on Fire TV Stick 4K Max, if you click that down seven times, you just click it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven clicks, down at the bottom of the screen, right next to where my video image is, it'll count down and it'll tell you developer options are now set or developer options are on. Once you see that, you back out one time, and then right underneath about, you're going to see developer options. Once developer options is up, you click that one time, and then you go to ADB debugging, you click it, see now it's off, you click it again, you turn it back on, and this is also where you're going to come to when you have installed unknown apps. You can turn on those apps in order to install things from those apps or other apps from within the app, so I'll show you next. <clears throat> so once you have that on, back all the way out, and then scroll all the way up to the search menu. Now once you go to the search menu or find, you scroll down, you can scroll down again and go to the app store, or if you scroll once up and you click on search, it'll come up with the keyboard. And what you want to do is type in downloader, so that's D, O, and then as soon as I got to D, O, you're going to see on the bottom it says downloader. So scroll down, highlight downloader, and click it. And then it should bring you right up to where it says Downloader. You're going to see it's orange. It's in the apps and games. has a white arrow pointing down to a white line. That is the icon for Downloader. So you're going to keep it there and click it one time. Now, if you're new to this and you've never installed or downloaded Downloader, it is completely free to get. So do not be alarmed. The only thing you might get is an email letting you know that your Amazon account has downloaded something, okay? So it says for me, download, you own it. But if you do not own it and you've never downloaded it before, it's going to say get. So click that one time. You're going to see it's going to queue. And then it's going to download and then automatically install. Should be fairly quick depending on your internet. <coughs> and then it says open. But do not open as of yet. Click the Amazon home screen button down one time. And it brings you back to the Amazon home screen. From here, click and hold the Amazon home screen button down between two and five seconds. And if you did it correctly, you're going to get this screen right here from profiles scroll once to the right onto apps and click it and then from whatever icon you are in the beginning see i'm on the big a just scroll to the left about two times and the last thing that you downloaded is going to be downloader so keep it highlighted if you so choose to move this to the front of the pack click the three dashes or the options button on your remote one time from move scroll down to move to front and click it and now downloader has moved to the front of your apps and channels menu bar list so if you did it correctly hit the amazon home screen button one time and you're going to be highlighted on home and if you scroll over to the right you're going to see downloader is right there right in the front okay so keep it highlighted click downloader one time you're going to get allow downloader to access photos media and files on your device keep it highlighted on allow and click it then you're going to get the quick start guide. You can read all that if you like. Otherwise, keep it highlighted on OK and click it. And then what you have here, it says downloader. Enter a URL or search term. So you should already be highlighted on Go. From Go, scroll once up. You're going to see the cursor blinking. Click that one time. And then it's going to come up with a keyboard. Now, in this keyboard, you can use anybody's codes or websites and whatnot and you can download from that however if you'd like to use the dr venture website and server what you're going to do is type in nine two seven six nine once again nine two seven six nine make sure everything is good and scroll down to go and click it <coughs> if you did it correctly and there's no issues you're going to see redirecting in four seconds to 
my website, dr-venture.com slash apps. So once it goes to my website, if you're using the Amazon Fire Stick, click the three dashes or the option button one time, you're going to get these menus comes up. Comes up. Now, what you want to do is scroll once down, and so that way you don't have to keep typing in my code all the time. You can say add current page to favorites. Click that one time. You're going to see the name, apps, Dr. Venture, my URL, and then scroll down until you highlight cancel. From cancel, scroll once to the left onto save and click it. And just to show you really quick, I'm going to scroll all the way to the left. In the side menu bars at home, I'm going to go down to favorites and click it. And if you did it correctly, you're going to see apps, Dr. Venture, my website. So scroll over if you want. Click that one time. Make sure it directs you right to my web page. And this time, you don't ever have to type in my code again. So once it's there, click the options button or the button with the three dashes two times. And it makes it full screen so that way you can see everything nice and easy. So scroll down. And since this is a Cody video, we're going to go to where it says the button Cody versions. So scroll around. There it is right there on the right hand side in blue. It says Cody versions. So keep it there and click it. And then it's going to come up into my index of all the apps for Cody. So I do have Cody from the beginning, but since we are on 19.4 and I'm using the Amazon Fire Stick, I'm going to pick Cody 19.4 32-bit version. If you're going to use this on a better device, say like an NVIDIA Shield, and possibly even the Fire Stick, the Cube, the Fire Cube, then you can pick uh, the 64-bit. But since this is the stick, I'm going to use 32-bit. So I'm going to highlight it the best I can and click it. You can see it's connecting and then it's going to download. If you'd also like to help maintain the server, I do have a donation link in the video description to maintain uh, the server and keep all of these apps and APKs running for your, your guys' pleasure, okay? Now, once it downloads, it's going to automatically open up. But remember earlier in the video when I said uh, install unknown apps and developer options? Well, right here, you're going to see downloader. For your security, your TV is not allowed to install unknown apps from this source. So you should already be highlighted on settings. Click settings one time. And see, it brings you automatically to developer options where we turned on ADB debugging. So underneath that, you're going to be highlighted on install from unknown apps. So click that one time. Then you're going to see all of the apps that I have in my Fire Stick. So I'm going to scroll down to Downloader. I'm going to click on Downloader, and it turns it on. So what this means is now Downloader can download apps and then be allowed to install those apps onto your device, okay? So if you're good to go, you don't have anything else to do, click the back button, keep clicking it, and it should automatically bring you now back to Downloader, and you have status, file downloaded successfully to, it tells you where it's downloaded to, <coughs> keep it highlighted on install, and click it one time, then it automatically brings up the installation page, do you want to install this application, it does not require any special access, from wherever you are, just scroll down a few times, do you highlight cancel right behind my video image, from cancel, scroll once to the right onto install, and click it, you're going to see it's now installing, App installed, beautiful, and it does say ready to launch. You can ready to launch it if you want, but however, keep it highlighted on done right behind my video image and click done one time. It's going to bring you back to downloader. So since we already installed the installation files and you no longer need them taking up space on your device, from install, scroll once to the right onto delete and click it. And then from cancel, scroll once to the left onto delete and click it. And now you've deleted those installation files that you no longer need on your device to save a little bit of space. So if you don't have anything else to do in the Dr. Venture index for Kodi or Kodi versions, click the Amazon home screen button one time. And we're going to do the same thing that we did for downloader. So wherever you are, click and hold the Amazon home screen button down between two and five seconds comes up to this menu from profiles scroll once to the right onto apps and click it and now the last thing that you downloaded from whatever icon you are highlighted and top which is downloader scroll twice to the left there's the Kodi icon if you so choose to move this to the front like we did for downloader click the options button one time you're gonna get move from move scroll once down to move to front and click it and now you've moved the Kodi icon all the way to the beginning so let's make sure we did everything correctly hit the Amazon home screen button one time 
brings you back to the Amazon home screen from home. Start to scroll over. Highlight Cody and click it one time. It's going to say Cody requires access to your device, media, and files to function. Please allow this via the following dialog box or Cody will exit. Keep it highlighted on continue and click it. And then it says allow Cody to access photos, media, and files on your device. Keep it highlighted on allow and click it. Remember, if you don't allow apps, then you're not going to be able to use them to their full potential. Allow everything to load in. This is what I like to call the Cody default home screen. And then from here, you can check out the rest of my videos at rumble.com slash drventure to install add-ons, to install builds, and have fun with whatever you want to do with your version of Cody at the time of this video. As always, any problems or questions, feel free to hit me up at any time on any of my social media accounts. All of the links will be located down below in the video description. So I hope you enjoy Cody. I hope you enjoyed this video and I thank you for watching. If you like this video, click subscribe and the notification bell to get notified of future videos.